Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that <laughs> subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Um, what else can you do? If you want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. My name is Miss Serenity underscore Smith on Instagram. Also, you can follow me at my blog, my blog, which is MissSerenitySmithBabies.com, which I need to update that blog with some other stuff and my little craziness um today i have taraji here you guys seen taraji her um little cousin has left her so she is all by her lonesome and we want her baby sissy uh zora to return um but i know this this the light is like uh probably let's see me zoom in it's probably like washing out her outfit but that is the print on it I thought it was really cute um again she does have the she have it in blue as well it's not the same print but a blue one like her little cousin had as well but I haven't put it on her um when the back of this one I don't know it's just a little bit loose so I put a little clamp right here in the back let me see if i can show you guys so all i did was just put a i did a little a little clamp there i don't know if you guys can see it. it's right here and it's just one of those little hair things that you just slide over so i did that to the to the back of her outfit um Usually no one's really seeing the back, but if they do, I think it'll still kind of work. Um, don't show off your little boo-boos. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. All right. So, yeah. So, Taraji is my little imperfect, perfect girl. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if some of you guys may not know the story behind Tar Taraji as far as her kit. She's a Mealy Sculpt by Ping Lao and when I got her, I did a kit review and everybody was so in up in arms about the size of the kit because everybody thought she was going to be like a child size, like a, I don't know, maybe like five, six year old or something. Um, because of the way she kind of looked in her prototype pictures and stuff. And, um, but she was not. And, um, so a lot of people was kind of upset at first and, um, making a lot of posts about it. And so I was so focused on that. And I, I did make a comment in that review. I said, hmm, this hand looks a little young, a lot younger than this hand. But I thought that that was just the way the sculpt was done and so who am I to question a sculptor right but then I later found out after I completely painted the kit that um a lot of the arms got switched and it was the wrong arm it was a Ping Lao sculpted arm but for a different sculpt so I've never had to match colors before so I had to go in and try to match the colors so I painted one of her arms like after the fact. They do blend fine. Um, but it's like she got kind of like somewhat what I would call like a birthmark on one of her arms or whatever. Um, it was a painted blooper to be honest. But it just kind of looks like a, maybe a birthmark or something. But other than that, um, she she came out fine. Um, I actually liked her size. Um, the head on the Mealy Sculpt is smaller than I thought it would be, but it actually works. So overall, I, I really like the Mealy Sculpt, but this is not a review. But I wanted to, I came on, I was like, let me, let me tell these girls this, this, this thought I was thinking about. Because I was, I was wanting to change her clothes, so I'm going to show you the dress I bought. I actually shopped for Zora here recently. Hold on, I'm trying to get it back like how it was. Um, I shopped for Zora recently, but her 
one of her dresses seemed to be a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So I, I bought size 12 to 18 month, but it's really big. So I probably needed to get six to 12 month for Zora. Um, but I'm thinking I'll put it on Taraji. But even with Taraji, it's gonna it's gonna fall because her her legs are bent up right now. But I think it's gonna fall fine on Taraji once I put it on her. Um, but I, and I was realizing I didn't really want to change her clothes. But this is really cute. I had got her this little dress. This is the back of it. I, I just thought it was really cute. I love the little gatherings here. Um, so I really, I really, really liked it. And it's black and gray and white. That is the colors of it. And then I had, before that, I had already ordered Zora these shoes. And I know people like black shoes, but I ordered it because she has some bloomers. And I wanted her to fit the bloomers. But then I saw the dress and I said, oh, she could wear that with the dress. But then when I got ready to change Taraji, I thought, I don't really want to change Taraji. Maybe, let, let's see. Let's see if she'll fit this dress. She'll, I'll just put this back on her if it don't look right. So I really, um, I didn't really want to change her. So I realized that where everybody's like, oh, I love the toddlers because you can just put them on everything and you could dress them all the time and you know because they have so many clothes and a lot of people shop like crazy for their toddlers. I realize that I don't have the desire to change them as often as I do um, uh, as often as I do my smaller babies. I just don't. Um, I, I get them dressed and I just want to leave them in whatever it is that they're already wearing for weeks. <laughs> I think I get more excited about changing the smaller babies than I do the little babies. So, hold on. Let's see how this is going to work out. Oh child, this is, like it's, it's, it's a workout for me um so yeah it's not it's not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be to be changing them but it is exciting that they can fit a lot of clothes that is very true and you do see a lot of stuff that you be like oh I can buy this for I can buy this for Taraji because she can fit this. So, um, I, I do like that. Um, hold on. All right. So I, I do like, I do like shopping for her. I still don't just go out and buy a whole lot. Um, but like I said, when you do, when you do go out and buy, um, you're happy because they, if they fit it, normally they fit it so well and stuff, but it's, it's not a, not like I thought it would be. Now she, these have little bloomers with it. I'm not going to put these on her right now because it don't matter because they're not going to show and it's not going to look right anyway under her, with her, uh, the, the way her cloth is. She got on a pull up. She's good. With Zora, I would put put those on. I tried it on Zora already, and it's just not. It's too long, is what it is. It fits, but it's too long. So, it's not fitting the way I want it to fit. So, I would get a smaller size for Zora. But I'm not going to go back and buy the same dress. I, I thought about it. It's in my cart now, I won't lie. But, <laughs> I am just going to move on you know just just let it go didn't work out give it to another baby her other stuff uh is going to fit her that i bought so I'm, I'm happy with that so i'm not worried about her not having one dress plus oh it really looks cute on on um taraji 
I love my my uh, bigger babies, like I said, and I do love that they can fit clothes. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that I still feel as bonded with Dora when she returns because sometimes when my babies get hair, I I lose the attachment to them. It's so weird. It's like I guess because it changed the way they look, so it changed the way I feel about them. I don't know. It's weird. But everything that I thought with this hobby that I thought that was going to be the big fascination and thrill with it kind of turned out not to be the thing for me. Hold on. Got on a dress, so you got to keep your legs together now. Um, like with the silicone babies, I thought, oh, pacifiers was going to be the big thrill. So I bought a whole bunch of pacifiers. Um, I really liked these socks with them, but they're, as you can see, small. I have some bigger ones here, but they're kind of longer, which is going to be, I don't like this bow. I want to almost cut this bow off, but I can't. But so we're going to, we're going to just see. But yeah, so I bought all these tons of pacifiers and then I don't even put, um, my silicone babies with pacifiers as much. Um, and then the big babies, I thought, oh, I'm gonna do all the clothes, but then I don't even use that much. And then like with Joey, I was so excited about him standing, but then I don't really stand him up as much. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna have him standing up around the house. He's gonna be able to stand up here, stand up there. I stand him up every now and then in the nursery for photos, um, every now and then I, I do leave him standing for a little while just because I kind of sometimes I do like walking in the room and he's standing up. But it's not as much of a big to do as I thought it was going to be for me. I don't know. So, let's see. So when she's sitting like, when she's sitting in the chair on the sofa in the living room, I think she's gonna, it's gonna flow more because her legs will hang down more. Ugh, it's just so aggravating right now trying to do this. So that's like the armatures should have been more stiff and rigid. It'll be easier for me to like get her where I want her to be. <sighs> My back be hurting. That's why I don't do these videos with these big babies. It is so much easier for me to dress her off camera. All right, so now I gotta figure out. So I did all that just to move her back down so I could tussle with her in these shoes. Hopefully. They're not hard to get on because I really don't feel like that today. So you, I'm loosening up the shoelaces like I would real child. I get ready to put on a shoe. Her feet isn't as wide as Zora's, so hopefully, yeah. And they did, they slid right on. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm just going to tuck her strings in. So. <laughs> I look cute on you though. Um, good thing about these shoes is they, they're unisex. So Joey can also wear them. And because they're flat, it will make him stand really nice. Take the paper out of these. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to do the same thing here. It's loosen this up a little bit. So, to make it a little bit easier to slide on. I don't like the whole rubbing the shoes on the, the 
the doll's feet. A lot of people put their dolls on shoes a lot. I don't do that. Um, again, I believe we should enjoy our babies, but I also should believe that we should also remember that they are paintings. So the more you do with them, the more at risk you are with damaging something. Um, so I don't do a lot of excessive shoes and, you know, certain like colored outfits and all that and stuff. But I love to see the mommies do it, but with my personal collection, I don't do it as much. I don't change my babies as much as I used to. I think as you begin to, and I'm going to say this and I, I'm not saying that you guys are immature. I'm just going to say as I begin to mature or change in the hobby. I was less fascinated with some of some some stuff. All right. Although this this girl, this uh cover you're sitting on is throwing you off, but so so like if I was to put it like just so her knee could show a little bit, I think it's kind of cute when you show a little bit of her skin. There we go. <sighs> so annoying. But yeah. Anyway, it, it's not gonna look good no matter what I do in this photo. Um, because I gotta hold on. Yeah, I just move this all together. Oh, do that as a girl like I don't know like I don't know how I would pose her sitting down with this little dress on I don't know maybe like this I don't know <laughs> I don't know but the outfit is cute. I'm, I'm gonna, when I sit her, like I said, when I sit her, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> when I sit her on my chair in the living room or the sofa, it's gonna work out better because she'll have room to really dangle her legs and pose. And then I can adjust her, her little sockies. So like if I really wanted to, I could push these down. But I don't, I don't know that I like that. That I like that look on. Well, Indugu, as my mom would say, <laughs> you, you got your. Now, girl, if you don't close your little legs. So yeah. So see when she stretch her legs out. It will give, I don't know, child. I'm going to go look and put her downstairs and see how it worked out. Maybe I could grab a picture then. <sighs> I am aggravated. It just throw the whole outfit away. I give up. Yeah. See, now if she was standing, this, was, this would be when it would be perfect. Let me see if she was standing up. She has like jelly legs. So then I would be pulling this little dress down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if she was standing up, it would. Wow. She would be so she would be so cute in this dress. Alright. Come in. It's like she wants to. Oh well. But. That's her. 
And that's it. I give up. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Dang.